Hey, how's everyone doing today? So a couple days ago, Carbine Tools had emailed me and asked me if I'd be uh, willing to review some of their tools. So I did a little research. I, I've seen Carbine Tools uh, on Amazon and uh, different places on the internet, but I, I don't know anything about them. So I did a little research and everything I read about them on the internet was positive. Um, I went into forums where people was asking about them and people that had used them had nothing but great things to say about them. They uh, had great things to say about their customer service, uh, the tools themselves. Uh, I went on Amazon. All their tools that they sell on Amazon are always over a four, star, four out of five star rating. Usually they're closer to five star than they are down towards the four star uh, level, which tells you a lot about what people think of their tools. So I instantly told them, yeah, I'd, I'd love to review uh, some of your tools. Uh, send me something and, and I'll definitely uh, talk about it and give an honest review about it. Um, the one thing I was curious about, because if you look down here in the uh, lower corner, it says limited lifetime warranty. So I was curious how their warranty system worked. And officially, on their website, it tells you that you have to send the tool in. If you if you break it, send the tool in with a, uh, a receipt, and they'll send you a new tool uh, back. But what they told me through their email was that uh, in most cases, you just snap a picture of the broke tool, email to them at customer, I think it was customer service at carbinetools.com, and they, they promptly send you a new tool out. So it doesn't get any easier than that. If you can snap a picture of the broke tool, send it to them, and they uh, mail you another one, you're good to go. Now, this is a USA family-owned and operated company. And unfortunately, their tools are not made in the USA, but this particular tool is made in Taiwan. Now, Taiwan does put out, believe it or not, nowadays, really good stuff. And it's actually up to the company and their quality control standards as to how good a tool is and we're going to take this out of the box and we're going to we're going to take a look at this tool and we're going to see exactly uh you know how it looks and and we're going to talk about it now this particular tool is an 18 piece extra long hex bit set it's say in metric sizes uh, the tool bits themselves are s2 steel which is a very expensive and high-grade steel uh, for bits like this. For tools uh, such as these bits, that's, that's a perfect steel for that. Zinc phosphate bit finish for corrosion uh, resistance. And then the socket uh, itself, the part that holds the bit, is chrome vanadium. Uh, see if there's anything. There's all the different sizes that come in this. You have 10 pieces of metric and 8 pieces of of uh say or standard or imperial plus you got your blow molded case and if you've seen any of my other videos i'm a big fan of a nice case uh, one thing i can't stand is to order tools that doesn't have a a case or a nice enough case to where you can you keep your tools in it and now you're trying to figure out how to uh store them in some kind of an orderly fashion to where you can grab them and use them anyway you can see that this thing was kind of beat up during shipping now uh, the corner here is dropped so let's take take this thing out of the box this does seem to be a pretty rugged uh, case got a nice latch contact information here uh, customer service at carbinetools.com there's the address. Now, one other thing that I wanted to say before I uh, go any farther is the whenever they asked me to review this, the first thing I did was find out what kind of website they have. You know, I wanted to go and see what all they, what kind of tools they had, what kind of a website did they have, because a lot of a lot of tool companies on Amazon. You try to go to a website, they don't even have a website. And it kind of makes you question, you know, the quality and the longevity of the tools. But Carbine Tools, 
they have a very nice laid out website you can actually order uh, straight off their website or you can order through Amazon and I'm going to put links to a bunch of their tools in the description so if you want to take a look at them just click those links it'll take you straight to the uh, different tools this will be the very first tool now this particular set they make two two of these sets they make this set which is straight and then they make a ball in set so the you know the ends of the tools uh, are the ball in so that you can get on fasteners at an angle and kind of their their saying is they offer tool truck quality without the tool truck price so let's let's kind of see if that's true um, now this is a uh, quarter inch and the one thing I do like is it does say what size the bit is on the actual socket I've seen uh, lower quality tools that you might pull the quarter inch out but all these sockets are the same that they use for all their bits and they don't mark any of them but you can see here the 930 seconds it's marked 930 seconds right there on the on the socket part carbine is nicely engraved in the uh, in the socket itself let's just take a look and see the machining here nice chamfered edges nice uniform hopefully that's all coming through I mean all the way from the socket the machining of the socket the chrome looks good let's take a look at a metric This, oh, I want to also mention one other thing. So this is the 9 millimeter. I mean, this machining looks great. The one thing that, that I want to say is if you look at the metric, this is something that a lot of metric uh, bits don't have get you in view here because if you look at this they've got they've got three four four and a half five five and a half six seven eight nine ten I mean that's straight through a lot of people don't realize there's a, there's actually a four and a half and a five and a half metric size whenever you're talking about these uh, relatively smaller uh, sizes same with their sockets and there's been times that I've needed five and a half and luckily I've got a five and a half socket uh, so just know that just know that this does come with four and a half and five and a half uh, sizes because not everybody offers those um, so I mean the quality to me it looks top-notch the warranty you're not it doesn't sound to me like you're gonna be able to beat the warranty and let's just see I'm not sure what size this this is going to take. I know it's going to be standard. Let's take a look here. Let's try 730 seconds. No, nope. smaller. It's going to be 3 sixteenths. I just want to see the. I mean, there is literally no side to side slop in that fit. I don't know how that's coming through, but that was the one thing I was curious about. Um, man, I mean, this looks like a, a, a very top-notch set of hex bits. Now, until I start using them, I'm not really going to know how they hold up, but I can promise you that I will give another review after about a year or so of using these. And I'll, I'll tell you what I think of them then. But right now, as far as what I'm seeing, I like the fact that they, they're in a case. They snap in nice in the case. Oh, you know, the one thing we didn't look at was, or I didn't pay attention. You know, the, the box was beat up from shipping. And you can see that all corners of the case itself withstood that. So... The case is, it's not a plastic hinge. It's actually a hinge with a metal pin going through it. So the hinge shouldn't uh, 
shouldn't go away anytime soon it doesn't doesn't seem like anyway now just to give you an idea of you know how you would possibly use one of these um, snap one of these out of here snap that on a ratchet probably isn't going to be the best example but it's an example for instance right here on this vise I'm able to come right here easily get on all these real easy no extension needed and uh, snug these things right up I mean this is the ideal tool to get on those those type of uh, fasteners when there's an ob you know obstacle in the way just one example and the one thing that I want to kind of give you an idea of cost wise of a tool truck price I'm not going to tell you the brand of this this isn't really even a set this is a set and this is a set this is the Imperial set this is the metric set from a tool truck from a very popular name brand well if you look at this set here $233 you look at this set $220 when you combine both these that's going to be about $500 and you're only going to get 12 pieces. This is an 18 piece set for well, well under the price that this company is selling their bits for. Just for comparison. So take a look at these, look at the price of these versus the price of those. I think you'll agree that uh, it's going to be hard to pass something like this up. So far, I'm, I'm impressed with this set. Um, so, like I said, I'll put links down below. Take a look at them. Go to their website. I'll put, I'll put their website so you can go check out their entire line on their website. And I'll put the links to a lot of their tools so you can just click them and go straight to, their, straight to Amazon. Anyway, uh, Carbine Tools. This is their extra long hex bit set. They also make them in a ball in, so take a look at them. Let me know what you think, too. If you end up getting a set, or if you own a set of carbine tools right now, put put down in the comment what your experience has been with them. I'd be curious to know from anybody that's used them. You guys take care. We'll see you.